Hi everyone, you're watching RTT News. I'm Sarah Kajamko. Here's your afternoon political update for Wednesday, January 27th. U.S. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner defended himself to the House Oversight Committee on the bailout of AIG today. Geithner is being accused of withholding information that led to billions of unnecessary dollars going to the failed lender. However, the Treasury Secretary swore that he had no role in the decision-making process. Elsewhere in the Capitol, White House Secretary Robert Gibbs fielded the media's many questions ahead of President Obama's State of the Union address tonight. Gibbs confirmed Obama's plan to cut back on government spending. And you all reported today uh, what the President hopes is a uh, continuing bipartisan effort to get our fiscal house in order and make progress on the deficit by uh, freezing non-security uh, discretionary spending. Uh, over the next three years. In other news, the U.S. is debating whether it should open talks with the Taliban in Afghanistan following President Hamid Karzai's decision to do the same. Both countries would like to draw the militants back into peaceful society. However, the Taliban's past with Osama bin Laden and al-Qaeda still weigh heavily on their minds. The possible olive branch comes as the United Nations Security Council lifts travel bans for five former Taliban leaders. And North and South Korean ships shot at each other today near disputed waterways off of the western coast. South Korea shot back after the North led the first round of firing. However, the North said there was no need for alarm. It was all just part of a yearly military drill. South Korean officials disagreed, however, but no one was hurt in the exchange. There's your afternoon political update for Wednesday, January 27th. I'm Sarah Kajumko. Stay logged into RTTnews.com for more news updates throughout the day.